Nothing! There's no one up here! They never make it up this far! Should we head back up to the bunker? Nah, let's wait out the storm. Got it! Stay alert! Let's move inside! That's a good idea. We got some time. Might as well relax. Probably put us on wreck duty later. So what do you think they use it for? What? Radio tower? Yeah. Still works, right? Ah! Ah! There's a line to the outside. Why do you think most survivors ever make it up this far? What do you mean? Matthias knows exactly when a new ship is coming in. We always have plenty of time to prepare. So, he's fishing. Using that tower to... You hear something? God, God damn, it. damn it! Hey! I need help! What the hell? <laughs> 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 I have spoken to some of the villagers on the island. I was expressly forbidden to leave the palace, but this did not stop me. My duties here are clear. I must learn the truth, but the stories I uncovered defy belief. Rumors abound of the queen's communion with the spiritual world. They say she commands the sun and the rain, that her lands are abundant by her will alone. <laughs> this is certainly nonsense, but what can be the cause of such whispers? Is this how she controls her people? By engaging their primitive superstitions? I saw absolute reverence in their eyes when they spoke of her. Yet, I also sense fear. Her people are treated with fairness, taxed reasonably, and... Pray to her. It's a
kind of mortar and pestle, probably used for preparing medicinal herbs. There are small bone fragments in the mortar well, hopefully animal bones. Send an SOS from an old radio tower up here. Any tips? Hey, Lara. You're gonna need to find the communications console. It'll look like a bunch of old switchboards. Okay. I'll let you know when I find it. Hey! Hey! Wake up! 
Wake up! Wake up! We got an intruder! Come on, grab her! Please! You don't need to do this! I'm telling you, Reyes, it's mechanical, not an electrical problem. Now, Alex. <coughs> uh, this looks like it might be uh, an electrical problem. You think? <coughs> oh, hello. Hey. Who's this little fox, oh, huh? Oh, yeah. she's cute, huh? <laughs> hey, cute, it's yeah. Alicia. Alicia. It's my like daughter. That. Oh. 14 years old. And smarter than you'll ever be. She must must get that from her father. Don't give him the attention. And yeah. I'll take a look at this. Probably electrical. From her father. Nice one. So I was on the walk, right? Doing a spot of midnight fishing. Hey, Grim. Time to button down the hatches. I be right with you. So I was on the lock, right? And this thing comes looming at me, looming out of the water it was. So I give her a old Glasgow kiss, you know. <laughs> Get shot of trouble nine times out of ten, that does. Took me a week to sleep that night off, and I've not touched a drop since. See you at dinner, Sam. Can we take B-roll, please? Thank you. Dr. James Whitman, filler 15, take three, and action. Okay, now take a firm grip, and then slice him down the belly, like this. Yeah, you got... Good Lord, cut! 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 Uh, is, is he coming back? Uh, I'll go get him. Renowned archaeologist. I discovered the world renowned archaeologist, Mr. Dr. I don't James cut Whitman. Of fish. It's just a fish. It's fine. It's just They're a gonna fish. be fine. This damned reality TV business. I'm, I'm meant to be bringing culture to the people, Sam, not dinner. Uh, no offense, Jonah. The audience demands content, Dr. Whitman. You know that. So until we find the Lost Kingdom, we need footage like this. Come on, let's just take it from the top, okay? We're gonna make you look like Gordon Ramsay in editing. 
Dr. James Whitman, filler 15, take four, action. Okay, now take a firm grip, and then slice them down the belly, like that. I've studied them so much, I can see charts on the back of my eyelids. But if I'm not right about Yamatai being in the Dragon's Triangle... I remember when you found that one, your father's digs. You ran up and showed it to me dressed in your penguin pajamas. <laughs> I was five <laughs> years old, it was my first find. Yeah. You've got great instincts, girl. You just have to trust them. Mm. That's what my father used to say. Now, there was a man that ran on instinct. For better or worse. He would have been so proud of you, Lara. We're getting closer to the storm. Well, whatever's coming, we'll get through it, eh? <laughs> Okay, Lara. Pull yourself together. They're counting on you.